Hi everyone, my name is Abel Gray Kantuma, and on this video, I'm going to be showing you how to actually insert uh, a, a story in an existing story. So you already have uh, some other existing stories that you're actually working on. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to insert a story in an existing story already. Okay, uh, so let's jump right into it. Uh, if this is the first time you're coming through any of my tutorials, I have covered all of the softwares on my YouTube channel. Go down below the description box, you will find the link to that channel. Visit the channel and actually keep yourself busy. Okay, uh, so let's jump right into this. Uh, let's see, I'm actually working on this, and then um, uh, I have um, like a share wall here, and I also have like a share wall here. Okay, but um, it happens that this shear wall is actually not at the same level uh, with uh, this uh, roof beam here. Okay, so it's actually going a bit higher than this. Uh, let's say this is actually a minaret, okay, in a mox, okay. Uh, now, um, what I need to do here is just to insert another story. Okay, uh, I have, uh, I'm actually going to take off... Uh, this particular story here I'm going to remove this yes I'm going to remove this okay aha uh -huh. is deleting that for me if you already love what you're seeing why not like this video make sure that you actually give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel is 100% free you see a red button down below just click on that red button uh written subscribe and you have subscribed already okay click on the bell icon so as to always get a notification whenever i post videos i post videos like this on a weekly sometimes on a daily so as to encourage as many that actually want to have a deeper insight of design okay uh so right now i'm, I'm actually going to insert a new story on this uh, as you can see I have story one two three which is one two three okay uh, to do that all I need to do is just to uh, you can see this information here is still here but um, I'm actually going to take that off okay uh, sorry still that is actually okay good uh, I'm going to insert now uh, look at you must take note of this it said to add stories to the top of the building enter in number greater than the current total okay to insert an intermediate story enter a number less than the current total okay now what that means is that um, I actually have uh, three stories as it is right now you can see story one story two story three okay in order for me to have st a story at the top of this okay I have to insert four five six seven anything higher than the value which i already have that is existing okay um that is just what it means by that okay now to insert a story at the intermediate of this um maybe there is a particular story that should be at the middle here instead of this uh, i can as well do that too all i need to do is just to uh in impute a value that is actually a bit less than or lower than the existing one for example if I want to create a, um, a story in between uh, the story 2 and story and the present story 3 all I need to do is just to type in um, uh, 2 or I type in 3 rather sorry uh, if I type in 3 is actually going to shift uh, the story 3 to 4 and then uh, this three will come in between the two and the present four that is actually going to shift. Okay, uh, let me just uh, demonstrate that uh, so as for you to understand what I'm saying. Now you can see this is the point I'm actually trying to make here. You can see uh, the story has been created in between these two uh, stories. Okay, so uh, at this point here, I can decide to generate uh, whatever story I want to generate here. Uh, the, all the structural members here as uh, this story 3 okay as you can see this is the story 3 is actually empty there's no any other structural member here I can actually model that here okay um, and then to insert a story above uh, this story 4 uh, the present story 4 that we have here 
all I need to do is to actually come here uh, sorry not here uh, come here and then insert story and then this time around I'm going to impute 5 if I impute 5 it's actually going to come above uh, this you can see uh, this axis above this okay so if you love what you are seeing make sure that you like this video uh, give it a thumbs up okay subscribe to this channel it's 100% free click on the bell icon so as to always get a notification whenever I post videos I post videos like this on the weekly sometimes on the daily so as to encourage as many that actually want to have a deeper insight of design okay uh, so right now all I need to do uh, this is what I want to generate to uh, the fifth floor uh, let's come to floor number five okay number four come to floor number four uh, I filter just my shear wall I will deselect all I just want to highlight my shear wall okay good now I generate this um, to the fifth floor and I click on OK um, okay good now you can see uh, that has actually been uh, generated uh, but one thing you must take note is this beam this uh, level that I have created in between this level and this level There is nothing you can do about it except you close the file and reopen it again because this is actually But thank God I did not actually save this work So once I close this I can bring it back and then uh, you will no longer see this flaws because this is just what I want to achieve I just want this wall to actually come a bit above uh, this level Okay, make sure that you stay safe and make sure.